Just who is the glowing man? That's how graphic it gets. If you wait to the end of the video, we've got a little discount for you. So, hang about. Hello, welcome to another episode of Getting Graphic with Matt. Me, Matt. Today, we're gonna to be talking about not just one book, but a, a small series which will eventually become a more sprawling thing. But it's the Jeff Johns, Gary Frank series, Geiger, followed up with Junkyard Joe. Geiger is, yes again, another post-apocalyptic story. I seem to really be going through these. I don't know why. Well, I know why, but you know. This collaboration by Jeff Johns and Gary Frank, it's a beautiful looking story. It's a harrowing story of survival and loss in the post-apocalyptic nuclear wasteland that we have, you know, <sighs> done to ourselves. It's not quite Oh, cool, lots of radioactive monsters. Like, it's mostly like people dying of radiation uh, and slowly and sickly. There are some cool, like, giant radioactive scorpions, because, you know, there has to be something like that. Like, big radioactive dogs uh, and the glowing man himself. This basically follows two children who basically get kicked out into the wasteland where they are certain to die until they meet the glowing man, who for some reason protects them. Not quite sure why at the beginning. Obviously, you, you know, you'll read on, you'll understand it. The glowing man is a tragic character. It's just a man who is longing for not his old life, but his old loved ones. And he still holds out hope, even though there's been a nuclear war and the world has basically been destroyed. He's kind of holding on to hope, even though there's nothing left. It's quite a somber tell about a glowing skeleton man. I also want to talk about Junkyard Joe, which is a quasi sequel, prequel. In Geiger, there is a robot creature who shows up for a couple of pages. And this is the origin of that strange robot man who doesn't last very long in here. But uh, this is a look back at the Vietnam War. I mean, obviously traumatic. But it's talking about a man who served in the Vietnam War who, after being saved by Joe, I decided to write a comic strip about this robot going through Vietnam. He kind of becomes a bit of a legend. Over the years, he forgets that Joe was real until Joe shows up on his door asking for help. It's a nice story at its heart with some what does it mean to be human kind of values thrown in there. We all know it ends in nuclear holocaust, but thankfully not in this book. So it does leave you with a bit of a happier feeling, even though you know what's about to come. So if you're looking for something that kind of goes in some strange directions, but puts a bit of a smile on your face at times, check these out. Go Geiger first, just so you get the idea, and then check out Junkyard Joe. You're not gonna go wrong with it either. If you wanna check out these books and buy them from Walt's Comic Shop, as you should buy all of your comics, use this promo code right here or here, wherever it is.